Hey everyone, I'm Seth Persigal, and this is how to call subprograms in KOS for Kerbal Space Program. We're going to have to do this a little differently than how you would in a more traditional programming language. Instead of declaring modules or methods in a file, KOS uses scripts stored in separate files. Let's take a look at a customized Hello World script to demonstrate what I mean. First, we'll create our main file, which we can call main.ks. In it, we'll have a clear screen command and print command that simply prints hello at the address 10, 5. Next, we'll make two more files called world.ks and mark.ks. In the world file, we'll make a statement that prints world at column 16, row 5. And in the mark file, we'll print an exclamation mark at 21, 5. We need to have the text output offset because once the program is done, the console will print program ended to the screen. Now we'll go back to the main script and call the other two scripts. This is done using the run command. In our case, run world.ks and run mark.ks. At this point we can save all of the text files and open up the KOS terminal inside Kerbal Space Program. When you issue the run main command, you should now see hello world printed to the screen. Well, greeting the planet is all well and good, but what can this sort of thing really be used for? For starters, it lets you build up libraries of sections of code that you frequently use, such as printing things to the screen or managing PID controllers or action groups. Let's take a look now at a more fully featured program. Here we have a loop for a landing program. A very important feature of KOS is that it uses a global namespace. This means that a variable that you declare in one script will carry over to a subprogram that you call, and vice versa. In this example, I moved the run mode code to a separate file called runmodes.ks. After that, I used yet another script that's purpose is to cleanly print all of the data to the screen. This is really convenient because now I don't have to code in print altitude or print vertical speed every time I write a new program. I simply put in run print to screen. You can also use this feature for performing vector math that you do a lot, which I'll dive into in another video. As always, thanks for watching, and this is Seth Persigel, signing off.